Hey everyone, uh, welcome back. So today we are going to configure and deploy the self-service password reset. So basically this gives the users the ability to change or reset their passwords with uh, no administration or help disk involvement. And this reduces a lot of help uh, disk calls and increases the productivity as well. So let us go ahead and start. So as we usually do, let's go ahead and create a user. In this case, it will be the test one. Test one. So let me copy the password to my notepad. So just create the test one user. So once it's done, just go to groups and just create a new group. This is for uh, self-service password reset group. So let me keep it as SSPR sample group one and let's say self service password re reset group so everything looks good let's just go ahead and create it so once it's done so it's not yet created uh yeah it's got created so now let's go into the group and go to the members add members so in this case it will be the test user test one select so now we have a test one member in this sspr group so next let's go ahead and uh, register for self uh, password reset So here you can see a password reset option. Just go ahead and click it. And this change the selected group. So it will be the sample group one. Let's go ahead and select it. Save. I think everything is uh, good and you can also check the authentication methods so these are different methods that have been enabled so if the user uh, forgets his password these are different options that you can use so in this I just uh, given the three different options but you can go ahead and select the other one as well so that's it these are normal options okay so let's go ahead and log into the test one user let's go to the incremental mode let's use test one credentials and password that you have copied into your notepad so let's change the password so here you can see like uh, it's redirecting to more information required so let's go ahead and click next so you can give your phone number and uh, there will be a verification code you can click it and you can go ahead so in this case, let me go ahead and choose my email ID. And let me get the email ID. So let me show you the verification code once I get it.
so you can see I just got a mail so just select the code so email has been verified yes so now we have signed into your Azure portal so now let's go ahead and sign out of this and let's try to use the forget uh, password so let me click this and let me use a uh, forget my password so let me use the gotcha select the email id let me check you can see i got the mail so So now you can enter your new password. Let's go ahead and do that. So you can go ahead and log in with your new password. So this is how you can uh, reset your password. So you can see uh, if you have not uh, used this particular method then users may not uh, use that uh, forgot my password because it, uh, they need to call the help desk and so on. So hope you guys have understood the concept of uh, self service password reset. Uh, how can we configure that? and. Uh, deploy it uh, in that uh, self-service password reset so hope you guys have understood the concept of this and uh, if you have liked the video please click the like button below and if you have not subscribed to my channel please do subscribe to my channel thank you guys